one of the success stories among the companies that have benefited from the Ayute Africa Challenge program, according to officials, already works with 2,000 farmers in the tomato seedlings business. I want to go here without tomatoes. Find a way of finding tomatoes for me. And I was like, now you see, the space is small. Then someone said, ah, you come and I give you land so that you can expand. I can authoritatively say that now I have two greenhouses. Sally is one of the three agricultural innovators awarded in Uganda in a competition which was launched last year. They will use the funding for expansion and access to markets. We, had we not given Mike this opportunity, this platform, he wouldn't have made that leap that he has made in his business. So we think that this initiative is extremely very important in terms of number one, encouraging young people to get involved in the agriculture space, but also number two, to be able to create job opportunities that our country significantly desire to have. Government admits there is still a wider financing gap when it comes to the participation of startups in the commercialization of agriculture. But which business can thrive without financing, without injecting capital in it? Then we have the challenge of poor access to markets. When Haifa International comes up with a, an idea of stimulating agricultural innovation, I'm comfortable that their main objective is to stimulate innovation of solutions. And then consensus that the high cost of internet in the country is holding back youth startups. Last week we further cut down the price of the internet to... $35, $35, we're going to cut it further because uh, the internet should be affordable. Like you hear His Excellency keeps saying. We are also promoting manufacturing of ICT devices in Uganda. Our target is to reduce the price of a functional average smartphone to about 60,000 shillings in about uh, two years from now. We are actually already manufacturing smart smartphones in Uganda. Once we do that and address connectivity, then the internet should be accessible all across the country. This year's challenge attracted 189 participants who received apprenticeship in business management.